We are right in the middle of a summer tradition, Dine Out Boston. More than 100 restaurants participate in this two-week culinary celebration, providing diners the chance to enjoy some delicious meals and restaurants the chance to welcome some new patrons. But it's also charity-based. Joining us now on the couch, Suzanne Buchanan, director of the Shirley Eustis House Association in Roxbury. Suzanne, thank you so much for being here with us. We want you to tell us and the viewers a little bit about your organization. Oh, well, thank you for having me. So. Um, at the Shirley Eustis House, we preserve the 1747 mansion, country estate of His Excellency, the Royal Governor William Shirley, mm. who was governor of uh, New England or Massachusetts, the province of Massachusetts Bay, from 1741 to 1749, and then a little bit later as well. And he had this country estate in Roxbury, mm. along with many other elites in the sort of New England area in the 1700s. It's the only one remaining, oh, and it's wow. one of only four uh, surviving governor's mansions in the United States. States. So we preserve the house. We talk about the, um, you know, the life and times of the governor and his family and the legacy of the British Empire in America through our tours and programs. What do you want visitors to learn when they come visit the Shirley Eustis House? So I think one of the things that we try to have our visitors come away with is this sense that um, when we won the Revolutionary War, uh, not everything changed and that there's a lingering presence of uh, the British Empire and British social customs mm. that we mm -hmm. live with today in America and we explore those things as a part of our kind of modern American identity. Yeah and I would say as someone who's new to New England to your point I noticed that being new here that a lot of it does still linger and I guess if you're if you grow up here you don't really think about it but it feels very pronounced to me mm. to your oh, point. Oh that's interesting. Yes. Yeah. She yes. notices that's that I'm always I have my think, pinky up when I drink. <laughs> My tea and you know that sort of thing. Well, yeah. you just don't know how to act. We know that. <laughs> We're slightly different than that, but um, but that's an interesting observation that mm. I've actually never heard from any of our visitors from out of town. So when that you come, we'll we'll go into it in more depth. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. As someone who loves history, I'd be totally into it. Tell us how you'd like us to interpret interpret the stories about those enslaved by William Shirley. So um, one of the exciting developments at the Shirley Eustis House is that we recently acquired uh, a building across the street, which we actually saved from demolition. Uh, and it turns out to have been the governor's stable, where, um, like wealthy gentlemen did in those days, he housed a fine collection of horses and the men, the enslaved men, who would have cared for those horses. Um, and so having acquired this building now, um, we can't really recreate the stable, but what we would like to do is transform it into a venue where we can explore um, the lives of the people enslaved at Shirley Place in the 1700s uh, and um, additionally look at the slave trade within the context of the British Empire, because mm. that's really our story. Uh, and so that's our that's our big plan. And we mentioned Dine Out Boston. It is critical to the mission of the Shirley Eustis House. So thank you so much for oh, joining thank you. us. 